Yo, 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 YouTube, what up? This your boy HP, you know what I mean? I'm here to show y'all how to get your memory back low once you use four or more VSTs. I mean, plugins. I don't know why I keep saying VSTs. But if you use uh, more than four plugins and it starts saying, you start getting a, a low memory warning on here, all right? So I'm going to show y'all how to get it back low. I'm going to let y'all, first, I'm going to let y'all hear the, these. I use four sounds. So check this out. So once I used those, I actually had 75% that was used up on my memory right there where it said like 5% that they were saying 75%. All right. So then I had started getting a, oh, I said 78 and I started getting a low memory warning. So I'm going to cook up another beat and I'm going to show y'all when it's up there. If I get the warning again, I'm going to cut it back on to show y'all I got the warning and I'm going to show you how to get it back down to a low percentage so you can add more and whatever else you need to do. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, as you can see, we at 73% and we only using, we got four tracks with four different um, instruments. I'm gonna go through the tracks so you can see the instruments. Now I noticed that the hype don't use as much, um, but yeah, these are the sounds that use a lot. All right, so it might be different sounds that's in the hype that don't use as much, but these are the four sounds that I got so far, okay? So now we're finna see if we can get the warning. All right, we're gonna add another track. All right, we added another one, which is on the hype, which as you can see, it don't really, it don't go up as much. It only went up 1% with the hype, okay? So, let's see, is the different instruments uh, cause different settings? All right. I'm crashing the video. What? All right, let's see. Still only one percent. Okay, so that one, that one not doing it. So let's go to a different uh, plugin. Um, I know these these newer plugins take up more juice. Okay, there we go. We got the warning right there. All right, so that's the warning. You see how I say eighty five percent save project may lose unsaved progress all right so what you need to do at that point is hit okay all right save your project like it says so i'm going to go to save um save project now i want to really save it on i like to hit this because i like to save my stuff on a different Thing. So I hit this, save as, and then I can put it on my SD card, okay? Okay, so these are the beats I've been making on here so far. So you want to make sure you save it, all right? And then I'm going to make whatever sound I'm going to make with this, and then we're going to come back. And you see how it's in the red? That's the, that let you know. That's letting you know what you got going on right there. So I'm going to go on, save it, and we're going to come back. All right, y'all. So I got the last instrument in there, which is the fifth instrument. So we went all the way up to five, all right? So let's look at the... And you see where that's at? That's the memory at 85. Low memory, save project, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit OK. We're going to save the project one more time. 
All right. Save. Are you sure you want to overwrite? Overwrite. Okay. That's done. Now, all I got to do is convert all these into um, wave files. All right. So we're going to bounce them all down. Okay. So I'm going to start off with one. And then how you do this is you go to one, go to track one. All right. Go to uh, main. Okay. Um, once you're on this screen right here, this is the screen you got to be on. You want to go here. It's two ways to do this. You can go to the plugin and hit bounce to sample. So let's try that. Let's see what that do. Let's try what the bounce to sample do. All right. Hopefully it put the name on there. Oh, it just say plug in one. Okay. So we bounced that to a sample. Let's see what we got right here. All right. So we're going to go to edit. Oh, go back to main. Let's go to an empty track. Go to edit. Go to sample. Bounce to one. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, let's put it right there. Okay. All right, so that, that made the whole sample all the way to what we need, all right? So now that's one out the way. Let's go to the next one. Go to menu. See what I do, I just go to track. Instead of doing instead of doing that on there, I just go to track and then I bounce them down on there. So that that's track one I already bounced. We're gonna go to track two. And it's got the same option where it says bounce to audio track. Okay, or bounce to sample. So you want to bounce that down to a sample. Track one, track two. Then we go to track three. And you want to bounce this one down. Okay, now what I do at this point right here, just in case I might want to switch something up, I kind of leave this right there and go to sample two, go to uh, sequence two, right? Which is a, a new sequence up here, okay? And so once you get to sequence two, you go back to one, and instead of being on plugins, you want to go to the pads, all right? And so once you go to pad, then go to pad, edit, okay? And on these pads, you just want to load them up. Okay, that's one. So on two, we want two. On three, we want three. All right. On pad four, we want four. All right. And on five, we want five. Okay. Now, once you got all those loaded up, you go back to main. And then go here to the grid, and you want to hit track one, all right? Hit the pad one, and it's going to put it on A1, right? Get your pencil, mark it in. Or actually, you could just you could just do this right here. This will make it easy. You can just hit record. Hit record, right? Hit play. And then just help them. All right, you see how they all look? They all look wild in there, right? So all you want to do is just move them down. Just notch them all down to the first. You know what I'm saying? To the oh, uh oh, undo, undo. Go down to that little thing. Notch them out. Oh, what am I doing? Undo again. Undo. Okay. Push them farthest you can get them. 
All right. By moving them down. And once you get them all down, uh, let's go back to the uh, menu main. Okay. Let's go here. And let's mute all these tracks. Let's mute all of them. Okay, now all of those are muted. Okay. Hold on. Seven, two. Okay, they all muted. Go back to sequence two. Now hit play. And... <laughs> Okay, so once that's done, then you want to go back to sequence two, go here, and hit, uh, well, you ain't got to hit delete. You can just, well, yeah, I'll I just delete that sequence. I clear it out, clear, clear out, all right, and then I go to each one of these plugins. And get them out because right now after i cleared it we still at 88 percent now we at 88 percent okay so here okay go to uh sound oh, i'm sorry wrong thing go to uh plug in i'm sorry and you want to just take all these out so i just delete them delete okay Go again, delete, okay, go again, delete, okay, now once that's done, now watch this. What that say? So okay. Hold on. Did we delete? Okay. Now let's see. Make sure we ain't delete everything. Dang. So that's how you do it, man. Now you got all the sounds on there. Now they all on one. This one track, right? So what you gotta do to spread them back out, this is what I do. They on track one. So what I do is I um go here, hit explode. Bam, now it muted that track right there, right? As you can see, it muted that track. Now, as you go over, you got all the bounces and they all named. You know what I mean? So, and then I just delete this track clear do you want to clear track clear okay now once that's clear go down to the last one which is on six and move it down hit copy track and move that down to one not seven because it's on seven so go down to one hit do it all right so now when you go there, it's on there. Okay, so go back to six and hit clear. All right. So, oh. Oh, what I do? Oh, let's delete that. Hold up, cancel. Oh, this hit undo. Undo. All right, so they all on there. So that's how you do it, man. You feel me? Let's go.